one of the many things I love about this IS350F Sport is the blacked out grill and side accents. I think it makes this Grecian water color come out a lot, a lot more. It's kind of like a, a gun metallic finish. It's um, It has that chrome, great chrome look to it. So when I just got, I actually got done washing the car a couple of days ago. So it just, again, it makes the this Grecian color come out more. It, it's, a, it's a subtle contrast. As I mentioned in my delivery video, my IS350 S-Sport has this 10 inch display. And as you can see, the colors look richer and the display in terms of the mapping, there's a little bit more detail as opposed to the previous generation where it, you kind of saw some pixelization. It wasn't as refined and as sharp as this next generation IS350. Let me see here let me go to menu as you can see there's that again there's that way background and the icons or the menu selection looks definitely better than the previous generation months of ownership what I can honestly tell you about the Q60 I absolutely love this car as a daily driver it's pretty much what I expected um, now keep in mind the Resport 400 does have the run flat so you're gonna you're going to feel every single road imperfection but for the most part Charleston, South Carolina has pretty smooth roads. The ride quality is pretty good, um, but I wanted to show you one thing before um, I do or continue with this video. As you can see, the mapping is, is definitely an improvement from the previous um, versions of the infotainment system. So it's kind of like a 3D rendering. 